Here we're going to analyze some um, climbing holds from Atomic. So I've been doing a lot of research on a climbing holds recently and there's a lot of different styles out there. There's a lot of different types. I decided to do the 60 piece by Atomic. Uh, I felt like that was the best choice for me. Um, I'll tell why later in the episode, but right now let's just open it, unbox it, see what we have, and we'll go over the different types of holds. comes with five extra large jugs, 12 large jugs, 12 mini jugs, uh, 10 edges, and 21 smalls. These are the ones that a lot of climbing gyms use. So they're highly molded. If I didn't want to use this as just a cram-on piece, you have nice little jugs in here to stick your fingers and thumbs if you just wanted to use the outside. Um, so these are really versatile, uh, and this is why I kind of came out with this kit. Uh, they also have ones that are screw-ins. I just got the bolt-ins. The reason why I got the bolt-ins is because my uh, climbing wall is bolted and it's going to be solid in there and I'm not going to destroy my wall with every single screw piece that I do. It's highly adjustable. I can take this out if I wanted to and put it elsewhere. So let me just get everything kind of laid out here. So I think these are the mini jugs. These are going to be the large jugs and then these are going to be the extra large roof jugs. And the reason why I came up with extra large roof jugs is they have this really nice indent here on the bottom that I'll actually be able to get multiple fingers in. The next closest one on the uh, mediums is gonna be this here, which might be a large roof jug. Uh, I can get three fingers on that and hold pretty easily. You also have these nice little pockets in there where you can throw your thumb, wrap your hand around. So this also might be an extra large. It looks like there's definitely some variation between what might be an extra large and what might be a large, what might be an edge, and then also what might be a small jug. Now, the reason why I got this set over any other set was because I'm looking for something that has a lot of jugs, a lot of good holds. The reason why I want those good holds is because I'm going to be doing a lot of overhanging or roof climbs. That's what many of our uh, bowling walls at home are. They're going to be very overhanging. They're going to be at the roof. That's why I got these ones, because I want those good holds so that if I wanted to do multiple laps, uh, it's basically the same thing as a tall wall in a gym or an outside wall. Uh, and that's why I got this one, just as a good starter pack, 60, that's a high count. That high count's gonna help me out with at least starting my wall. Uh, and the other reason why I got the atomic holds over any other ones is because this uh, plastic kind of hold, the mold that they use, is very durable. It's got a nice finish to it, so it's going to be really grippy, but it's not going to sandpaper my hands like clay might, but it's not going to be smooth like wood. Now, if you really want to polish up your whole wall, wood is a great opportunity to use. It's very cheap, very easy to make. Uh, you will need a, quite a bit of tools and quite a bit of time and a little bit of experience to do it. But if I'm just going to spend 300 bucks to have some holds on a climbing wall, this is a good bet. If I'm going to make my own climbing holds out of this same material, it's going to cost me maybe the same price, uh, maybe a little cheaper, but not by much. So this is actually a good value for what you get. Uh, and this is great for any of those overhanging or roof walls we might have at home. 